All right, YouTubers, welcome back. Shannon Mac here with you. Uh, tonight, when I was doing my uh, my weekly shopping at uh, Walmart, I stumbled across a Zendikar Fat Pack in the uh, in the toy section. Now, Zendikar came out. Well, I'm pretty sure it was last year sometime. So I don't know where this Fat Pack came from, but whatever. I decided to pick it up. You know, I don't think I've done a Zendikar break on YouTube yet, so might as well break a Fat Pack. Eight boosters. It was about forty dollars Canadian. Not sure how much they are in the U.S., but that's pretty much the going rate. So this is the outside of the box. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've already got the cellophane off it, or cellophane, just to uh, speed up the process. Of course, it probably won't. Now, as with all the fat packs, you get... Let me put this down here. And this isn't in HD, by the way. I... Uh, Stopped filming the fat pack videos in HD because the last one I filmed I couldn't get uploaded. Just took too uh, took too long and my computer melted. Not really, but it came close. Um, yeah, so basically what you get here is a uh, full catalog of the set. All the all the cards are pictured. I think all the cards are listed in the back. Yeah, there you go. Really nice touch. Uh, very helpful if you're building a set. So there you go. You get this fancy piece of cardboard, which is good for absolutely nothing. Nice box art here. That is one of the main features, I think, of the fat backs. You actually get a nice box to uh, store your cards. More cardboard. You get a chapter. This, of course, is the old fat packs. You get a chapter, or a comic book in this case. Yeah, sample chapters. I guess of a uh, graphic novel. Now they don't do that anymore, I don't think. But there you go. Pretty cool. You get a big fat pack of land, and I think in this case, I'm not sure if they're all the extended art land or just some of them, but we'll take a look at that. Of course, you get your countdown life dice with the uh, Zendikar symbol. Always handy. I wish they did have an Abacus style uh, life counter, but whatever. Put this down again. Just make sure that the land is all extended art. So there you go. Big fat pack of extended art land, which is always good because these usually sell for anywhere from, I guess, 50 cents to a dollar each. So, uh, yeah. Nice little bonus there. Because normally the basic land is... You know, useless to everybody. So you get eight packs. We'll crack into those. You also get a couple, a couple little pamphlets and whatnot. But whatever, who cares about those? All right, Zendikar. So we're looking for in the mythic slot. We're looking for Iona, Nissa, Lotus Cobra is a good one. Markov. I um, mean, the rare slot. There's the uh, there are the um, fetch lands. Which are really popular, um, and uh, Bloodgast or Blood, yeah, Bloodgast. So there you go. Uh, disfigure common. You'll have to apologize. My sniffing allergies are acting up. Mold Shambler. Whiplash Trap. Umara Raptor. I won't take too long on the commons and uncommons. Just because we have eight packs to go. There's a nice Lynx. The landfall effect. Excuse me. Lethargy trap. Desecrated Earth. Destroy target land. This controller discards a card. A bit expensive, but a nice little card. Dual effect. Nissa's is chosen. Two, three for two. Goes back into your deck if it gets destroyed. Narrow escape. There you go. Collar of the Gales. Target creature games flying into the uncommons. Pitfall trap. I was actually playing a game of uh, old fashioned pitfall the other day. Excellent. Uh, quest for the Gem Blades. Two for an enchantment. 
There is a dual land, so to speak. And there's the battlefield tapped. There's my rare Terra Stomper. Big 8846. Can't be countered, and it has trample. Of course, another full art land. And a elemental token. 7 1. Trample and haste. So there you go. Pack number two. Core Sky Fisher. 2 1 for 2. Bounce a permanent back to your own hand. Piranha Marsh. Another tap land. Timbermar Larva. Orin Reef Recluse. Those dirty old recluse spiders. I was working in a supermarket for a little while in university. And uh, I found one of those recluse sp spiders uh, crawling on me. Right up my apron. Came off a, a bunch of uh, bananas. So that was quite the scene. I think I squealed like a girl. Trap finder's trick. We don't have those kind of spiders up here. You know, we have just non-lethal spiders and non-venomous spiders. So whenever something crazy comes off the uh, grapes of the bananas, we'd all panic. Soul Stare Expedition. Quest counters. Don't know what that's all about. Shieldmate's Blessing. Prevent the next three damage that would be dealt to, dealt to target creature or player this turn. Instant. Pretty standard for the white uh, for white cards. Prevent damage. Shoal Serpent. Six for a 5-5. Five, five. Defender. Can attack only if you play land that turn. River Boa. Island Walk. Something tells me that this card's a reprint or has been reprinted a few times. In core sets, maybe. <laughs> Hedron Crab. There you go. And my rare is Sadistic Sacrament. Three black for sorcery. Search target player's library for up to three cards. Exile them, which means take them out of the game. Then that player shuffles his or her library. If Sadistic Sacrament was kicked, seven kicker. Instead, search that player's library for up to 15 cards. Ex exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. So, you know, not bad. Could be a game changer, I guess. Rules card and another full art island. Pack number three. We are eight minutes into this video, and I've opened two packs. Adventuring gear. So that means I'm speeding it up. Savage Silhouette. Giant Scorpion. One, three for three. Core Hookmaster. Three, four, two, two. Survivalist. Two for a one, one. Put a 1 1 token on the dude anytime another guy with the same name or an ally enters the battlefield. So he could get big pretty fast. Plated, ge plated, GOP, plated GOP. I'm trying to go too fast here. First strike, landfall. Narrow escape. There you go. We've seen that one. Goblin short cutter. Spreading seas. Enchanted on land is an island. Gold draws vampire. Vampire Nighthawk into the uncommons here. Mark of Mutiny. Gain control of target creature until the end of turn. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on it and untap it. That creature gains haste. Beat them with their own stick. Unstable footing. Damage can't be prevented this turn. If unstable footing was kicked, it deals five damage to target player. Kicker's only four. Not bad. And the rare is a grappling hook. Equipment, double strike. There you go. Equip four, costs four. Mountain, full art, and a rules booklet. Or an instruction card, sorry. Pack number four. 
said it before, these fat packs are usually somewhat loaded, but uh, journey to nowhere, but um, so far, no luck. Giant Scorpion again. Vines of Vastwood, one. Target creature can't be the target of spells or abilities. Your opponent's control. If it was kicked, that creature gets plus four, plus four. Kicker's only one, so that's a pretty decent card. Another Dirty Recluse Spider. Get out of here. Geopede, we've seen that. Edron Scrambler. Shrine Expedition. Tiger, 3-2, Shroud. Sacrifice, unless you sacrifice a land. That's not bad. 1-4-3-2 and sacrificing a land. That's pretty... It's a fair trade-off in my books. Mire Blight. Slaughter Cry. Cobra Trap. We're looking for a Lotus Cobra in the Mythic slot. Hellfire Mongrel. Needle Bite Trap. And Big Money, Big Money. Nope. Kazul Warlord. Planes and a Snake Token. Alright. Grab this stack. We'll take the last one on the bottom. Whiplash Trap. Blade Tusk Boar. I haven't even pulled a foil yet. Core Sky Fisher. We've seen that. Welkin Turn. Turn. Welkin Turn can block only creatures with flying. If you guys ever have a chance to eat uh, eat eat a turn, don't. Because they're disgusting creatures. Oily. They taste like fish. Not good. Vampire's Bite. Magma Rift. Relic Crush. Nimbus Wings. Plus one, plus two, and has flying. Four, two. Very usable card. Spell Pierce. Counter target non creature spell. This is controller. Plays two. For one. Not bad. Mindless Null. Sometimes I'm a mindless null. I can't deny it. Core Aeronaut. Two for two, two. If you kick it, it gains flying. No, if you core, yeah, you kick at someone, another creature gains flying. It's like a pretty decent card. Two for a 2 2 flyer. Excellent. Needle by Trap. Refuge. Sphinx of Dwar Isle. In the rare slot. 5 5 with Flying and Shroud. You can look at the top, top card of your library, and you can do that at any time. Interesting. Illusion token and a full art forest. So, so far, the full art land is the best thing to come out of these packs. Which is not encouraging. Pillar Field Ox. Something's good, com something good is coming out of this pack. I can feel it right now. Ruinous Minotaur. I can tell just by the fact I'm getting all these different cards that I haven't seen yet. So. Stonework Prima, Survivalist we've seen, so that just blows that theory out of the water. Spile Bar Spire Barrage, Shoal Serpent, I think we've seen that one too. Molten Ravager, Beast Hunt, Grim Discovery, Demolish, that's a reprint. Infernal Trap in the Uncommon slot, River Boa. Uncommon. Quest for the Gem Blades. Uncommon. And Big Money. Nope. World Queller. 5 4 4 4. Beginning of your upkeep. You may choose a card type. If you do, each player sacrifices a permit of that permanent of that type. Interesting. Full Art Swamp. And an Angel Token, which is one of the better tokens, or one of the more desirable tokens, but still not worth anything. Alright, Larva. We're busting 15 minutes here, so I'm going to speed this up. Grasp. Boar. Turn. Don't eat them. Mosquito. Vampire. Herda. Goblin Shortcutter. Land card. Narrow Escape. 
Into the Uncommons, Vampire Nighthawk, Mark of Mutiny, Unstable Footing, and Big Money, nope, well, yeah, there you go, no, actually, that's not one of the big land cards, I thought it was a fetch land, but it's not, pay two, add black to your mana pool for each black creature card in your graveyard, could be useful, but, eh, whatever. Full Art, Forest, and a Bird Token. Down to the last pack. And it's definitely odd because I haven't pulled a foil yet, which is going against the odds. Anyway, Trap, Boar, Skyfisher, Piranha Marsh, Barrage, Lacerator, Vampire Lacerator, Seacliff, Vampire, Shudder, Grove, Into the Uncommings, Living Tsunami, Blademaster, Needle Trap, Big Money, there you go, that's one of the decent ones, that's the Fetch Land, it's the green, uh, green Blue Fetch Land, Misty Rainforest, one of the better ones, not the best one, but whatever, so there you go, uh, Full Art Swamp, and a Beast Token, so for my $40, I bought a $12 card essentially and a pile of full art land so uh overall nice set uh nice product i didn't have any luck but hopefully you guys do so thanks for watching and again check back this channel for uh a hell of a lot more magic the gathering breaks thanks